everybody, we're going to do our pre-primary ballet. Um, we're going to, you're going to choose your own music at home to do your running steps, your skipping and your walks on toes. Send us your videos or your photographs and we're going to start from our exercise for sitting down onto the floor. Foot exercise. Introduction for sitting down. Up to number eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Long arms and legs sitting up really tall. Then we're going to say up, toes, down, toes, up, toes, down, toes, up, toes, down, toes, up. Toes, down, toes, up well done everybody I'm going to sit with my legs crossed um, for sailing boats but you're going to sit um, with the soles of your feet together sailing boat let's listen to the introduction counting in your head up to number 12 look at our hands We won't hit the music for our standing up exercise, we'll move straight on. So we're going to put our feet in first position. If you've got a skirt that you can wear at home, hold your skirt. I'm going to put my hands on my waist um, like the boys and we're going to move on to our knee bends exercise. Knee bends. Eight times. One. Front Points and close. to the front and close. So we tell our toes, point and close, point and close, push and pull, push, that was four, five times, six times, seven and the last one's eight and close. Well done everyone. <clears throat> Fetch um, a teddy or a doll um, that you can use for rocking the doll. I'm going to use the tiger this afternoon and let's rock our babies. Girls' transference of weight. Rocking for our the music. doll. We're going to tell them go to sleep. Everybody, pick your baby up and put them away somewhere. Oops, my baby fell down. Okay, what do we have next, Miss Lee? The puppet exercise. Okay, feet together, everybody. Puppet hands ready. Puppet. Ready, nice and sharp. Start with head. One. Head. Arms. Stretch. 
and then press our arms down at the side nicely. Well done, everybody. Your room may not be big enough uh, to do the next exercise, which is our raindrops and the sun. So I'm going to stay in a small area um, to keep myself in view so you can see me. So remembering when we move up to the back, that's pixie corner. And when you'd be moving down to the front corner, that's where sunshine corner is. So keep our feet together. Arm exercise, raindrops and the sun. So we lift arms up, super tall. Lots of lovely wiggly fingers coming down for the raindrops. That's the first time. And stretch. And the second time coming down, busy, busy fingers. And a big stretch. Last time. And then pick up your skirt, your hands on your waist. We'd run up to Pixie Corner. I'm just going to run a small way. Hide under our toadstool and stretch up. Start our raindrops again. Busy, busy fingers. And stretch up to the ceiling. Busy, busy, busy fingers. Last rain shower coming down now, everybody. And we're going to say, here comes the sun. You'd run down holding your skirt or hands on your waist. Make a lovely sunshine. Show everybody the sun. And then we bring our arms down beautifully. Well done, everyone. Come back into the centre of your space. What's next, Miss Lee? Bouncing, Bouncing the, ball. the ball. So we know magic pocket and you can choose a colour. Mine is turquoise today. Let's hear some of your interesting colours. Bouncing the ball. Ready everybody? We bounce our ball on the floor. Then we're going to hold on tight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back to bouncing the ball. And hold on tight. Jumps one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then like we would in class, tuck it away into our pocket. Now, we're on to Pas de Cheval and Gallop, so similarly to when we did Raindrops in the Sun a moment ago, your room might be a little bit smaller um, than we have at the, at the studio. So I'm going to move up to the back and I'm going to do it coming straight forwards, but if we were in class, we'd do it on the diagonal. So I'm just going to move back a little bit and we're going to have our pony hands ready and a lovely pointed toe out in front of us. Pas de Cheval and gallops. Ready to count. One, two, three, and a step. One, two, three, step. Horsey gallops all the way down your space. Feet into first position and tell your horse, whoa, slow him down. Well done, everybody. Now, claps and gallops is something you could do um, with mummy or daddy or with a brother or a sister. So I'm going to move up to the back and I'm going to do it with an imaginary partner. I'm going to put my hands on my waist when we do the gallops coming forwards. Can I still? Yes. Claps and gallops. So counting backwards from six, everybody. Six, five, four, three, two, one, hands. I'm going to put my hands on my waist. This is your gallops forwards. And stop. Six, five, four, three, two, one, hands. Gallops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one, hands. Gallops down to the front. Then we're going to say six. Well done, everybody. What are we on to, Miss Lee? 
ponies and farmers. Okay, so we'll, for filming purposes, we'll leave ponies and farmers. We'll do practice without the music. So you know, if you're pretending to be the farmer, you'd hold your horse and you'd take lovely, long, slow steps around the room that you're dancing in. And if you're the pony, you've got little pony hands and you're going to lift those knees up and do lovely, quick trotting steps around the room. Shall we play the music so the children can practice Let's have a listen to the music. So, partly listening to be the farmer and partly listening to be the pony. Music so section. I'll move back. Ponies and farmers. So if you were pretending to be the farmer first, you'd walk slowly. Listening for the low notes. Then if you're the pony, it's quick feet. Yes, have a listen to the rest of the music. Well done, everyone. The next exercise would be our listening for the high or the low notes. So um, we will play it. I'm not going to do anything, and you're going to listen at home to see if you can think if it's a high note. Reach right up on your toes, or if you think it's a low note, you're going to hide under the toadstools. Let's have a listen. Free run, taking a high or low position according to the pitch. Okay, so listening ears turned on. You might have space to run in a circle around your room. And then decide. That was number one. time and marching now everybody so I'm going to move up to the back and let's do this together so we'll have our hands ready marking time and marching we're going to clap We haven't learnt the dance yet that we need for our exam, but uh, Miss Lee's going to play us the music and we'd love for you to create something to this piece of music at home. So we're just going to listen and then you're going to create something and you can ask Mummy or Daddy to film it and send it in to us so we can see what you've been working on. Let's have a listen. Dance. use a prop for your dance and um, if some of you have older brothers or sisters that might have done pre-primary before they might have done um, what we call the bucket and spade dance where they take their bucket and spade and go to the seaside or some people might have done um, the dance where they go to feed the ducks and they have um, a brown bag of duck food or any idea you have at home will be brilliant. Okay, we move on to the end of our class now, and we always finish our class with a curtsy or a bow. So I'm going to do both. I'm going to be a boy doing a bow first, and then um, I'll do the curtsy for the girl second. Curtsy or bow? So if we're a boy, we bow. And girls, first position, toe to the side behind us, curtsy. First position. 
Well done everybody, I hope you really enjoyed our video. Keep dancing and practicing at home and we'll see you soon.